Hey guys, it's Natalia here and welcome back to Glossy Confidential. I'm here today with another makeup breakdown video and today I'm going to be talking about my top primer products. For the last two weeks I've been talking about primers. Um, last week was all my eye primers and the week before that was all my face primers. I'm going to have both of those videos linked down below if you are wanting to see everything that I've got. But today I'm going to be talking about my top five products. I couldn't really do top ten with this one because I feel like if I was doing top ten I would have to mention everything. So I've limited myself to top five and that way I'm just like, like the ones that I actually really truly would have to repurchase as soon as they run out. Like so my all over smoothing pore filling in primer would have to be the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is a silicon based primer um, and it is just a really really nice one. It gets in and it smooths over pores. I do love the professional, the Benefit professional, but I feel like my skin and my T-zone especially just gets really really oily when I use that whereas I don't feel like I get as oily when I have this one on. It's a little bit more mattifying. It blurs, it smooths, it fills in pores. It just makes my skin feel really really nice for a really nice base and it does help my foundation last a really really long time throughout the night so I am a big fan of that one. A illuminating primer that I think is really good is the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Base Pure Light Primer. Just, it is a white sort of consistency and as you rub it in it just leaves really your skin. It looks really really amazingly glowy. Um, I, use a light, I use a primer like this one underneath full coverage foundations because I feel the full coverage foundations just make my skin a little bit too mask like, a little bit too flat whereas if you have like a light reflecting primer underneath it just really starts bringing out life from underneath the foundation it makes it look a little bit less flat you can also mix this with your foundation as well if you want a bit more of a dewy finish um, it's just a really really nice one and it is um, available at the drugstore so that's an added bonus the next primer I've got here is the NARS Pro Prime pore refining primer this primer as I mentioned in my primers video was a big surprise to me I didn't really think I would like it as much I feel like it just smooths over my skin it hydrates it hasn't got oils in it so it doesn't make my skin feel really really oily it's just a really 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 lovely lightweight primer that does everything you need. It does say that over time it'll actually start diminishing the appearance of pores. I don't know if that's the case. To, as far as I'm concerned pores don't get any smaller. You can just sort of mask them. But it's just a really really nice lightweight comfortable moisturizing beautiful primer that when I do wear this one I do find myself looking in the mirror thinking wow what is going on with my skin because it just looks beautiful underneath. So I think it's a really really lovely primer. So moving on to eye primers, one primer I've got here that I love is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Same as the NARS, same as this one, it was like a big surprise for me. It is just a really nice lightweight, almost like a moisturizer texture. It goes on um, clear, but it just makes your fountain, your eyeshadows last all day. It really lasts all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't make your eyelids extra oily. It doesn't feel like anything on it. It's just so lightweight. It's one of the most comfortable um, primers that I've ever used, but also really surprised at how long it works because all my other ones have been a bit more of the sticky base that you can feel really grab onto your eyeshadows. But this one doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like you've got anything on so I do like that one. This one, the only thing I don't like about this one is the packaging because I feel like there is a lot of product wastage with this kind of packaging and a doe foot applicator whereas when you're paying NARS prices I don't particularly want to be wasting anything um, but apart from the packaging that's a really really great primer. And the next one, so I'm sort of mixing two products into one, but I'm going to be talking about the Lime Chrome Eyeshadow Helpers. This one is the normal one, this one is the brightening one. The formulation of this eyeshadow primer is just the best primer in the world. It will last, no joke, 24 hours. I don't know if you can see a little bit of white there on my hand. Um, as I was filming, I just sort of put a bit on my hand, and I've had showers, I've been to the gym, I've washed my hands numerous, numerous times, and you can actually still see a patch of white there. This stuff does not move. It does not crease, it does not budge, it does not run it doesn't do anything your eyeshadows will last all day pretty much makes them waterproof i have been swimming i've put this to the test when i went swimming dived into a pool my eyeshadows would had not moved my eyeshadows had not moved the entire day this eyeshadow primer is probably hands down the best eyeshadow primer i've ever used in the world it's like the best primer of life it is just amazing and i can't rave about this one highly enough i'm going to have everything linked down below so you know where to buy these from if you are interested in purchasing them but if you're going to get one eyeshadow primer and one only that is the one to go with because it is just fantastic it is phenomenal I, yeah i can't I can't think of any other words to describe this eyeshadow primer except you just have to get it. So that wraps up my top five primer video. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I would love to know what your primers are. I'm going to have, as I said, linked my face primers and my eye primers listed um, linked down below in the description bar. So if you do want to catch up and see what other primers I've got, go over and um, check those videos out. But next week I think I'm going to be moving on to foundations and then concealers and maybe face, face powders. So don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for next week so you can see my next installment of my makeup breakdown. And 
and eventually we are going to get through every single thing I own. I, I almost feel like it's really, really daunting to go through that, but I think breaking it down into these little mini videos makes it a little bit more bearable. And I actually really get a chance to go through and review everything that I've got, because I know there's a lot of stuff in my makeup collection that I don't actually have, but I figure if I do something like this, I actually have to use everything to be able to review it properly for you. So that's, I guess, why I'm doing it. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.